It's that time again, and this time March comes in like a lion. A particularly dozy lion that's been sleeping for a couple of days. Because as, um, as keen-eyed viewers may notice, it is midway through March. But hey, we've still got it, and you know what that means. It's time to delve in. But quickly, before we do that, it is um, time to quickly have a look at the box. This is the premium edition, the biggest one. That is their... Um, that is their, you know, at on the various things. That's Pinterest. I learned that from the many comments I got on a video previously. These are the five steps, no, four steps to happiness. And that is the website, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. But anyway, it's been... You've all been waiting for it. Let's open it up, but not show you too much what's inside. Because otherwise that would spoil it slightly. Ooh. Oh, yo. Wait, what? Um... Cool. Is this a gaming related one? This is pretty darn cool. So, um... Okay, there we are. So it's March 2019. That's cool. Oh, is it? This is in collaboration with Bandai Namco. Yo. Okay. That... That's got me really hyped because um, I'm a big fan of Bandai Namco. They do all the anime games and I play a lot of anime games. Anyway, they've gone an advert for God Eater 3. Uh, I've not played the God Eater games, they do look pretty darn cool. And on the back, we have Code Vein, which is, um... It's a Souls-like game. A bit like Dark Souls, but not quite. Anyway, uh, we also get some concept art. Yo, that is incredibly detailed. Wow. Okay, and we've got, I don't know, um... Oh, wait, hang on, what do these say? Oh, okay, so this is a colour-in thing. This is Aragami from God Eater, presumably, and I think this is a colour-in thing for um, just some warriors. Um, and if you do colour and paint the scene of them to Matsuri, you could win. What's a Matsuri? I don't know, but I'll put a description at the bottom here. And I think the rest of it, I'm going to look off... Yeah, okay, so um, the rest of it I'll show you very quickly are just descriptions of the items in the box. So without further ado, man I'm genuinely excited now, are we going to get some Bandai themed snacks? Let's see, I feel a... oh this is something I've had before actually, this is a uh, marshmallow with strawberry jam thing inside. It's actually quite nice, um, it's, it's pretty basic, uh, you know it's small but yeah the strawberry jam is pretty decent, let's see exactly what this is called. This is the Ichiko Daifuku, um, and yeah, named after the main character of Bleach. Wait, no, I think I used that joke last time. Okay. Um, yeah, also, big shout out to the um, thing this month, because it's got a black background, and um, I find black backgrounds infinitely more easy to read than white backgrounds. Uh, my site's not too great, so, you know, I'm definitely an exception here, but I don't know. It's kind of like night modes, but ooh. Now this says Cora, or Cola, uh, if you're reading it slightly different. Yes, this is a cola flavoured bonbon sweet or something, isn't it? Uh, like a chewy, not chewy, you know, something you suck on. Uh, right, let's check out what this is then. This is Donguri Gum Cola, so it's actually kind of wrong. It is something you can suck, you can suck on, but the middle is a gum kind of thing. So you can chew on it after you've finished, you know wearing away the layers in your mouth, um, because that's that's pretty cool, actually, to be fair. Ooh. Next up, we have this. Um, alright, this is a... this feels a bit cold, or like... it feels like a bit of skin or something. Is this like fish skin? Um, no something. That's kanji, I can't even be asked to try and read this. Um, is it gum? But like, look, that looks, because obviously that's behind the packaging, that looks like a weird kind of like um, fish jerky or something. Yeah, there we are. Look, there's some more at the back there. Right, what the heck is this? This is Noshi Ume Taro. Soft and easy to eat. Experience the taste of plum vinegar and plum meat extract on a fish fillet. Alright then. <laughs> um, it's looking very, like, red there for some... Oh, actually, wait. 
this is red I'm an idiot although it's kind of pink I don't know it's it's coming up slightly lighter on camera so yeah this is plum plum seasoned fish basically I mean <laughs> to be fair I do quite like fish snacks in Japan they tend to be pretty cool but like I don't know man the the combo of sweet and savoury I've never been massive on Ooh, this, um, I <laughs> don't really want to see what that looks like. Wow, okay, um, is this dried meat as well? Surely that can't be chocolate, that's dried something, isn't it? Tane, Tane Naru ho, Hoshi? Um, maybe... I don't know, I didn't read that very well. I really need to brush up my hiragana. Anyway, um, right, let's check out what this is then. This is a seedless plum. This pitless pickled plum is both sweet and sour. Um, all right then. I'm, <laughs> I'm seeing a bit of a plum theme going on here, because this is covered in plum stuff, isn't it? Well, I'm not going to lie, that doesn't look appetising. Maybe it's just me, I don't know, it, it could be nice. I do like plums, to be fair. Um, they're really nice, so. Right, let's grab. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lanyard. What? Yo, what's on this lanyard then? Yo, is this cord vein? Is a cord vein lanyard? Right, hang on, I'm going to try and get the art a little bit. There we are. So we've got a cute anime girl, who is also a vampire, I believe, and a cute anime boy. Uh, ooh, and there's more people, wait. Yeah, he's he's different. There's another black-haired guy, and a woman with a weird thing on her nose. Can't know, wait. Oh, oh, yo, okay, sorry, so one side is God Eater. God Eater 3, specifically. Um... Oh, that's really trippy. Okay, so that says God Eater one side. Wait, what's this? Okay. Yo. That's some pretty darn cool art, I'll be honest. Um, I can't tell which games these are from. Okay. Um, I'm going to say that's from God Eater, maybe? Ah, oh, wait, hang on. No? Okay, um... Sorry, I just had a quick look around it. Okay, well, whatever it is, like, uh, you know, this is a damn fine lanyard, and um, it's got a nice little clip thing at the end there. Um, yeah, I actually use a lanyard in work. I'm not sure I'd take this into work. It is very on the nose, but um, damn, that's pretty cool, actually. Okay then, well, put that to the side. So, that's quite nice. It's not just like a snack thing, you know, we're getting extra stuff. Ooh, I feel gumballs. As in, like, chewing gumball things. Uh, pique? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, ah, wait a second. I had something like this before, which is one of them was really sour, and the other two were really nice. And you didn't know which uh, which sort of order they were in. Um, although, actually, these all seem like they're probably peach flavour. Um, right, well, let's check out what this is, then. This is Solo Mama Peach. And uh, I actually I was correct about this. It's made by Chorus. Um, they're all peach flavour, but one of them is sour. So, yeah, I think I've actually had that very one before. And I will be honest, the sour one was actually genuinely really sour. Uh, and the other ones were delicious as well. Also, um, they do have an entry for the lanyard. Hang on. This is the Code Vein Plus God Eater 3 Bandai Namco Lanyard. And yes, the, uh, this month's bonus item, and indeed, is there to, like, celebrate the release of Code Vein and God Eater. So, um, yeah, pretty, pretty darn cool. I'm actually quite excited for Code Vein. Um, as I said, I haven't played God Eater, so... Can't say much about what I'm feeling about that, because I need to play the first two games first. But hey, you know, um, I'll get round to it. It looks very anime. Um, and I'm all about that anime. And talking about anime, this looked like a Kirby tie-in for a second. I saw that, but then it focused, and it wasn't. That says Torika, though. 
Um, so yeah, what is Torica? I don't know. Is it related to Toriko, the um, shonen anime about cooks that fight each other? No, it's not. Um, <laughs> wow, yeah, they're very cute. Chocolate balls, maybe? Let's see what this is. This is Trio Mix. Um, and yeah, it's a trio of uh, three different soft candies. A grape, a soda and cola. It's also a bit of a theme of uh, share it among your friends. <laughs> oh, Japan Crit, I don't have friends. Right, what is the next thing? I'm trying to like pick interesting feeling ones. Ooh, we got rice stuff, boys. Maybe. Um, Hinaporo? Oh, um, Hinaporo. Um, Hinaporo. Hinaporo. I don't know what that means. Okay, um, one of them is crying, one of them is happy, and one of them is ambivalent. What are these? They're hard, but they feel like rice, puffed rice things, maybe? Let's have a look. It was actually Hinaboro, not Hinaporo, sorry. Um, and yeah, they're sweet potato snacks. They'll melt in your mouth in just seconds. That's an interesting one. Um, snacks need sweet potatoes. I like sweet potatoes. I'm not, like, mad about them, but I'll eat them, you know. And what else I will eat is this man. Oh, it's cola. Aha! Right, I've already worked out what it is. There's a lollipop in here, and this feels like it's cola thing. Uh, let's see. Piro, uh, pero, pero. Uh, right, okay, let's not waste any more time. Ah, wait, there's directions. Or maybe there's not. I don't... Those, oh, maybe, are they in secret? Ah, I see, so... He, well, so he licks that, he dumps it in there, and then his eyes turn into yellow hearts. Right. Okay. This is Schubert Perro Candy. Experience Japan's version of Fun Dip. What? What's Fun Dip? Um, I feel like that's an American thing. Actually, wait, yeah. Didn't they mention Fun Dip in Season 2 of, um... Stranger Things. Um, I'm not American, so I don't know what the fuck fun dip is. Uh, let me know in the comments below. The powder turns into a juicy candy that you love. Well, don't make assumptions. Maybe I hate cola. Ha! Joke's on you. Cola's actually one of my favourite flavours. Ooh. Ooh. This is a long boy. Alright. A uh, Saku... Hair. Oh, a Saku Pepper. Saku pepper? Or is this sour paper? Ah, oh, sour paper! Okay, it's paper and it's sour. And also cola flavoured, which isn't sour. Okay. Uh, right. I think that's why, anyway. I don't think that's meant to be cool. Sour paper. Right. Let's check out what this is. Alright, this is sour pepper cola. So I kind of read it slightly wrong. But yeah, pop, fizzle, gummy experience. The world of cola in sour... Gummy foam with a sweet and sour cut. Am I reading that wrong? Am I, am I having a moment? Pop! Fizzle! Gummy! Ah, I see, right. Experience the world. Oh, okay. I thought it was gummy experience. I, I get you now. Yeah. Cool. Sour, sour cola stuff. A lot of cola and plum things this month. Is it a theme? Who knows? You know what? It, ooh! Ooh, yo! Kit Kat! Hello! Ah, oh, it's this, um... Fish thing! Yo, there was one in last month's, wasn't there? Ta Takayami, I think it's called? It's like, um... It's like, well, kind of bread kind of stuff with uh, chocolate inside, and it's in the shape of fish, usually, or... leaves, I suppose. Nice. Okay, good. I, th I thought I heard, like, broken bits, but no, they sound like they're in... Uh, in plastic or something. Right. What is this? Let's find out. This is Kit Kat Momiji Manju flavour. Capture the taste of Hiroshima with these Momiji Kanju flavour Kit Kats. Um, yeah, in collaboration with Takatsudo. Um, family run business. Well, sounds interesting. It tastes like maple leaf shaped red bean cakes. So it tastes like red bean cakes. I mean, I don't really care about what, what the shape is. And 
care about more the taste. I'm not going to taste maple leaf. Um, I'm going to taste red beans, presumably. Alright, next thing. Uh, ooh. 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 That was an interesting feeling one. Okay. Um, potato chips. That taste like unicorns. Oh, toast-headed girls on unicorns with one eye. Are those eyes? What's happening? What? Is that upside down? Is she okay? Heads don't... Oh, wait, hang on. Is that like Shin-chan? Is she drawn in the art style of Shin-chan, maybe? Um, I mean, man, if they've got a... Tsunaki? I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Okay, um... Wow! Are the <laughs> Are these Unicorn flavour? Or weird girl with weird mouth-shaped flavour? Let's find out! This is... Super Mucho Plum. First sold in 1993. It's a popular brand of potato chips. Uh, and this year, it's Honey Plum flavour. Okay, not too sure how to feel about that one. Um, it's been a strong plum theme, for sure. I don't know how my, how I feel about potato chips being plum flavour though. That's especially like honey plums. So it's not even. Ooh, maybe a little bit sour. It's kind of like just straight up sweet. Okay then. Ooh, we have a fish. Yeah, I can't even be asked to read that. That's a lot. Oh, it's a DIY kit. Oh, yo, it's um, jelly fish. Not to be confused with jellyfish. Right, let's find out what this month's DIY kit is. This is Doki Doki Fishing F-I-F-I-Y. I don't know if that's a typo of DIY or F-I-Y as in fish it yourself. But yeah, it's... um. It's themed after goldfish scooping, which is big in Japan, apparently. Um, yeah, okay, that's kind of cool. It doesn't, it doesn't really explain what the flavour or anything of it is, but uh, you know, I, I appreciate the context. Ooh, we have um, marshmallow. Ooh, wait, Marchito Ichigo. Hey, it's marshmallow. Um, Strawberry marshmallow stuff, basically, I think. Much like the first thing we pulled out. Let's check it out. This is indeed Mochito Strawberry. Soft and squishy, but enough about me. Enjoy these fluffy soft rice cakes. Um, yeah, basically the same as the um, the other one. They're kind of like... Well, they are rice cakes, not, you know, um, not marshmallow, but they're basically the same with their consistency and stuff. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, is this ramen potato chips? Sukos... Suk... Sukari? I think? Suko... Is that meant to be re? Wow. That is a lavish ramen, whatever that is. That's... Wow. Oh, yo, are these, um... Are these, like, Cheeto kind of things, actually? Ooh, I think they are. Yo, this... This is pretty cool. I, I love me some potato chips. They're hands down my favourite snack. Is this ramen potato chips in the style of Cheetos? If it is, I may have found the perfect bag of potato chips. Right, let's find out. This is rich flavour scone. Or scone, I suppose. Um, yeah, this is, this is flavoured after spicy noodles. Yo. And it looks like they are indeed like Cheeto-esque things. That is very exciting. I love spicy things. I like ramen. And I like potato chips. By God, I may have found the perfect snack. Ooh, right, we don't have many things left. Let's... Pring oh, <laughs> it is actually Pringles. I was going to say Pringles. Ooh. Yakisoba, maybe? Um, fried noodles. Is that the flavour? Um, Ika something. Cool. Ah, he looks the same in Japan. And it's sponsored by 30th anniversary of Super Kapu. Maybe? Um, yeah, ooh. Uh, some of them have slightly dam got damaged in the post, unfortunately. But 
Eh, I mean, they're Pringles, you know, you can still eat them. Th that must be yakisoba, surely. Um, right, let's check it out. This is Pringles Ace Cook Noodle flavour. Uh, and it comes in two different flavours. There's either classic yakisoba or soy chicken ramen. And as mentioned, I definitely got the yakisoba one. As the packaging actually looks quite chickeny for the other one. Um, yeah, I'll be honest, I'm not massive on yakisoba. Like, fried noodles are always very dry and stuff. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm just not into it really. However, these are potato chips and not actually fried noodles. So there's a solid chance I may actually like the Ooh. Oh, um... All right, is this a second bottle of the, yeah, 2019 Sakura? Oh wait, is this Sakura? No, original taste, oh, okay. Um, yeah, I think they gave us this either last month or the month before as well. There's like a special bottle they do in Japan every year to commemorate the new year. Um, this is the 2019 one, obviously. And yeah, it's just a very pretty metal bottle of coke. I've not opened my other one actually. I think this is the same one so I may just crack one open and leave one sealed. I know it's weird to collect bottles but I've collected weird stuff. So yeah, um, as mentioned this is the limited edition Sakura can of um, coke. Pretty sure this is the same one that we got before but I mean I'm not complaining because they are they are limited quantity and stuff so you know it's not like they're giving us any old crap really. Um, if if it is different, I'll leave a thing in the description below. And the last one is something I felt, and I didn't work out what it was. So, are you ready? <laughs> oh man, that's kind of cool. That's that's very cool, actually. Ooh, oh yo, it's got the like stuff. What does this say? It's upside down, so I don't know. That's better. Yeah, I still can't read it because that's in kanji, but okay. So inside this katana are like gumball things? <laughs> Chewy gumballs? Dude, this is cool. Ah, and I see there's like a string there so you can hang it up, which I probably will do. Because, you know, what else am I going to hang up? Um. Yeah, oh, okay, this is cardboard. Yeah, still though, and yeah, it's kind of like wrapped in plastic. What the fudge is this? Let's have a look. This is Ninja Sword Gun. Gum. The God Eater Squad let you borrow a sword, fight off the Aragami. Said once you defeat one, your sword stores their energy that becomes a sweet treat. I don't know how much, how accurate that is to God Eater. That sounds like a mechanic, like you store their energy, but. That is. <laughs> that's a very cool. I mean, yeah, sure. Is it gimmicky? Yes. Can you buy these over here? God damn you can't. No. Um, wow. That's really cool. Right. As always, I'm going to take a very quick look at this booklet. See if there's anything we missed. And then I shall wrap up this box. And also, hopefully, free up a bit of space on my uh, camera. Because I've got two minutes of filming time left. See you in a jump cut. Alright, so the booklet actually, um, it does mention what a Matsuri is. So I'll leave that in the start of the video, the annotation, just to say I do mention it further on, but um, yeah, Matsuri is a Japanese festival that celebrates an event and in March, Hina Matsuri is a celebration for girls in Japan. Um, and yeah, so this is like a weird mix of Matsuri themed like spring themed snacks and an advert for Bandai Namco games coming up. Um, and yeah, they kind of give a description of both games if you've never heard of them and stuff. Um, and yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Like, really, really digging the um, cover here and the beautiful art they've given us. So yeah, right, let's, um, let's do a swish jump cut to the final product. All right, I am back and realize I mentioned this is the final product. This isn't the final product. We've seen all of the products and they've gone through no further process of finalization. So what the fuck was I in about there? Anyway, we have the wrap up of the March Japan crate in collaboration with Bandai Namco Games. Um, and yeah, I I've, I've got to admit, I'm pretty digging it. Like the snacks are very plum based for some reason and plum and cola based um but you know it makes sense because it is 
themed around March snacks in Japan. And I presume that Plum is just very big over there at that time of year. I don't know all that much about Japanese culture, I'll be honest. But I will say what we did get is actually pretty darn cool. Sure, we got some of these slightly more like generic things, which is like strawberry marshmallows or like gummy things that are sweet or whatever. But we also got some pretty cool stuff. Like we got Pringles. I didn't realize Pringles were that big over there. Got Coca Cola. We got Kit Kat. You know, we got some pretty cool things. That katana is honestly awesome. There's probably generic like chewing gum inside or whatever. But you know, I, I don't mind that. I, I like gimmicks. You know, that's kind of why I buy stuff like this because, you know, you get to see snacks from other countries that they just wouldn't make over here. I mean, I've shown them off to my parents and they've been quite impressed with the sort of detail put into some of these snacks because in the UK, snacks tend to kind of be like, hey, want some potato chips? Cool, here, pay us money. And the sort of, that's about it. These are more, you know, fun and stuff. And also, big shout out to the lanyard. Um, I do like getting little non-snack things in snack boxes. Not not because I dislike snacks, but I know it just adds like a sense of value, you know, and stuff. Obviously, this is an advertising item. It's kind of there to be like, hey, do you want to buy these two new games? I kind of do want to buy Code Vein though, so kind of worked, maybe. But yeah, overall, a very, very good month. Um... As always, if you do want to watch my previous Japan Crate unboxings, I've got a playlist I'll put at the end of this video. Um, and yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching. Um, massive thank you to all the people that continue watching this series. Like, all of my, the last like five or six Japan Crate videos have reached over a thousand views. Blows my mind. So, massive thank you to everyone that did that and, you know, left a comment, thumbs up and stuff. As always, uh, you know, if you want to know anything, Leave it down in the comments and I shall get back to you. And until next time, sayonara. sayonara.